All righty. Um, just want to show you real quick. Uh, one of the most important steps in the process to get you a, a closed pour finish. Um, I'll say this. Most, most finishers don't go to the extent that I go to um, in the price range that I that I charge to, to do this type of finish, this closed pour finish. One of the things I do to get the mirror slick finish is use grain filler. And it's it's a product like almost like paint. You um, you brush it on, you see me brush it on here in a second. Brush it on, you use uh, just a regular burlap to take it off and um, let it dry overnight and um, then you then you paint over that. And I'll talk about the next step, uh, maybe tomorrow, but um, or in the next video. But I uh, just want to show you real quick this process. I'm basically just going to brush it on. I'll speed up the process by blowing it with some compressed air um, to get it to uh, dry up to uh, almost like a powder. And then I will uh, brush it off. I mean, uh, take it off with the burlap. So here we go. Um... If you hear any noise, this is going to be the air compressor. I'm not going to bother turning it off, so here we go. And I'm basically just going to do this one side here. Um, being that the piano's black, uh, I don't have to worry about doing it with the grain or not or leaving streaks. Um, this stuff will leave streaks if, uh, if it's not put on correctly on a finish that is a natural finish where the grain is, the, the, the um, wood grain is left exposed with a clear over it. So since it's going black, I'm not worrying about that. This side covered just enough for the video, so I'm going to now take some compressed air to dry it quicker. Normally, I'll, I'll do larger pieces than this and just let it air dry so that by the time I get finished putting it all on, I can come back and just start with the uh, earlier piece. Basically taking this off in a circular motion and you can get this in different colors again because this piano is going black doesn't matter but I can have this tint in any color I want and that helps color the wood I still usually put a stain over it if I'm doing a natural finish but this fills the pores of the grain, or it helps. It doesn't fill them all the way, but it helps. Alrighty, there you go.